Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck. So, a few months ago, oh my gosh, it's almost been two months already, I was in the fabulous Epcot in Disney with my wonderful friend Zach, and you know, we were strutting along the countries, doing everything fun, and we stumbled into Germany. Uh, I say stumbled because I had a few drinks before then, you know, the whole drink around the world thing when you go there, you, you gotta, when in Rome, or one in Germany or Epcot. Uh, so I went there and everybody is in line at like the Werther's original. Like, that's what their thing is there. It's like Werther's, right? Like the caramel stuff. But in like the corner, like in the nook by like the beer garden, there was really no line. And I saw there was a little sign for an offering, pretzel bread pudding. Now, I had never had a pretzel bread pudding before. In fact, I'd never heard of one, but genius. Brilliant. So I waited in the line, which took all of two seconds because it was really not a line for this. Uh, and then I ordered one. The minute I took a forkful, I immediately gave it to my friend Zach. I'm like, you need to try this. Try this. And we were both like, wow, this is incredible. So I knew right away I had to go to the Instant Pot and make some pretzel bread pudding, caramel pretzel bread pudding, because it has caramel like kind of hints of it throughout. Uh, so, you know what guys, forget it. We don't have to go all the way to Germany. We don't even have to go all the way to Epcot. We just have to go right into our kitchens because we're about to make up the most amazing caramel pretzel bread pudding in the Instant Pot. Let's go. To start off, I'm going to add two tablespoons or a quarter of a stick of salted butter to my Instant Pot. I'm gonna come down to my control panel in the pot and I wanna melt that butter. And I wanna go to my saute button, hit that. I wanna make sure I'm on the medium or normal setting. Some say normal, some say medium. That we wanna change by either hitting the saute button again, depending on your model, or the temperature button. So we want this on medium, we don't want it on high. I normally always do it on high, but leave it on medium or normal. They're the same thing, depending on your model. All right, once the butter's melted, I wanna add in two cups of whole milk, along with three tablespoons each of white granulated sugar and light brown sugar. Three tablespoons each. You can also use dark brown if that's all you have. And one and a half teaspoons or a half a tablespoon, they're synonymous, of vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna stir until my sugar is completely combined into my milk and everything gets heated up for about yeah, three minutes or so. Now I don't want my milk to bubble. I want everything to get just warm enough so that everything gets combined with each other. And that'll take about three minutes, but just watch it. We don't want it to bubble. All right, and after just about three minutes of stirring, we're on the brink of bubbling. We're good. I'm gonna turn my pot off here. Let's hit the cancel button here. And we're gonna just let this cool for about 15 minutes. We don't want it to be hot. The reason being we're about to add some eggs and we don't want those eggs to start cooking in the, our milk mixture here. Now to speed this process along, you can pop this in your fridge for about five to 10 minutes, that's fine. Or just let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes on the counter, right there. Leaving it in the Instant Pot will take longer for it to cool because the heating element's still kind of warm even after you turn it off. Okay, so after a few moments of letting my milk mixture cool down a little bit, just touch it with your finger. Make sure it's nice and coarse and clean. Mm, delicious. Perfect. It's not hot at all. It's just like lukewarm and that's fine. I won't cook the eggs. Speaking of the eggs, I'm taking three large eggs that I've just beaten separately and I'm going to add that to my milk mixture as well as a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And we're going to whisk this all together and this is now forming a custard. All right, perfect. And I love that the Instant Pot liner pot here is deep enough so when you whisk, you're not gonna splash it all over the place. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take some pretzel bread. And for this, I am gonna use these Pretzilla soft pretzel bread burger buns here that I found in my bakery of my supermarket. Um, you wanna use about a pound worth. So this is about 12.8 ounces. So I probably wanna get about another bun in there. So I bought two packs of this. However, you can totally just use like soft pretzels, like the super pretzels from the frozen section and just let them thaw out even though they're frozen or put them in the microwave that's actually fine to speed it along that works and then about a pound worth no matter what kind of pretzel bread you use and just rip them up into pieces and there we have it our pretzel bread again about a pound of it nice and ripped up into pieces about this size in a mixing bowl because we're going to add our wonderful custard that we just made all over this 
And by the way, don't use this regular hard pretzels for this. It's not going to work out the way it should. You want the pretzel bread, and like I said, it can be these pretzel buns. You can use uh, the frozen hot pretzels, about a pound worth. Just put them in the microwave so they get thawed out a bit and soft. That's what you want, into chunks about that size. Now I want to take that custard, and I want to pour it all over my pretzel bread. And I also want to add in some caramel sauce. I'm simply using the Sunday syrup, Smuckers, you know, whatever kind you can get by the ice cream sundae section of your supermarket, usually by the ice cream. About two tablespoons worth. Because I like a nice caramel flavor for this. So now I want to get in there with some clean hands and just mix everything up. Make sure that all of the pretzel bread has the custard and the caramel seeped into it. And now we're going to pop a lid on it, and we're going to pop it in the fridge for an hour. So everything really comes together, it firms up a little bit, and then we're going to put it into a little bun pan, and we're going to pressure cook this amazingness up. Okay, so about an hour has passed since my pretzel bread has been sopping up that delicious custard, and now it is time to assemble. What I want to do is I want to take a six-cup non-stick bun pan. Yes, it should absolutely be a six-cup non-stick bun pan, and I want to spray some non-stick cooking spray generously inside, including the center, don't forget that. All right, and then by hand, use clean hands, we're going to just assemble this and pack in our bread pudding. Well, it's not quite bread pudding yet, but it will become that. Just evenly press it into the bun. Next up, I want to take some aluminum foil and put it on top of my pan and then poke a hole boop, right through the center because this is going to make it so the steam when we put it in the instant pot can come through and come to pressure more quickly. Now we're going to have to do one of two things. We're going to either have to put our bunt on top of the trivet, which is actually going to be a little tricky to maneuver into the pot. You can do it, but the handles don't really come up super high on the sides. So one of my new favorite things to do in the world, goodbye trivet for now, is to get a silicone sling. These things are amazing. Silicone sling does the thing. <laughs> so we're gonna put, um, I love that little reference now. I'm gonna put a silicone sling, um, well, put my, my bun pan on the silicone sling, and then I'm going to just simply, look at this, just like that, and I can lift it and go right to the Instant Pot. I'll have quickly rinsed and cleaned out my liner pot from mixing the milk mixture in there. And I'm going to pour in one and a half cups of water. And then just carefully lay my silicone sling with the bunt inside of it directly in the Instant Pot. So easy and it's going to be so easy to get out. It's a game changer. I'll link to where you can get both the amazing silicone sling and the six cup nonstick bunt. Secure the lid. And now we're going to hit the pressure cook button, and we're going to go for 30 minutes at high pressure. So while the bread pudding is cooking, let us make some fabulous glaze. I want to take a cup of powdered or confectioner sugar, it's the same thing, as well as a half a cup of heavy cream, half and half, and you could even use milk, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just mix all that together and you're gonna get a fabulous glaze. And by the way, if you want a thinner glaze, you simply can just add some more cream or milk, it's fine, until it's the desired consistency you want it to be. And now that we're done pressure cooking, we'll finish it with a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so we're gonna take the lid off the pot, and then we're going to just take a little oven mitt here and remove it from the pot. This is so easy. This alone is the reason to get the silicone sling for how simple it is to pull it out of the pot. Okay, and now we're just going to let everything rest. Open our sling. I'm just gonna rest it on the countertop and then I'm gonna take my foil off the top. Mmm, looking good. And we're gonna just let this rest on the counter for 15 minutes. Okay, and after about 15 minutes of our pretzel bread pudding cooling in the bunt on the counter, I'm gonna take a plate, a regular plate like this, and then put it on top of the bunt, and then simply do a quick little flip, a flipperoo here. Hit it a little bit, and then, look at that! Look, perfect pretzel bread pudding. All right, now it is time to top it up. I'm gonna take my glaze and I'm going to just simply drizzle it. I find a spatula is easy, easiest for this. Just drizzle it along, just like so. Just in this type of motion. And then I'm gonna take some more of that caramel sauce and then do the same thing. 
And here we have it, caramel pretzel bread pudding. I'm gonna cut myself a slice. This is looking insanely glorious, glorious. Oh, look at this. Look at that, look at how beautiful that is. Feel free to drizzle more of the glaze and the caramel sauce on there. Look at that, Just get it on there, of course. Another nice touch with any pretzel, you need a little bit of sea salt, right? Take some sea salt and put it right on top to give it that final little touch on each slice. Okay, I'm gonna try this out. So here it is, the pretzel bread pudding. Look at how beautiful this looks, just look. Glistening, gorgeous. Let's do it. Here we go, first of all, it is like a cake in terms of the consistency. You know, when I throw my fork down like that and you hear that and I almost look angry, it's not angry, it's like, it's so good I'm mad about it. That's what it's like. This is insanely delicious. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like the ultimate French toast, but with pretzel bread. Uh, I, it's like basically dessert for breakfast or breakfast for dessert. You can have it for either one. It is next level delicious. Oh my gosh, the caramel and the glaze. Mm. Mm. Just take my money. This recipe is gonna be amazing whether you're eating it while it's still warm out of the bun pan or if it's sitting and you're to keep it in like a cake caddy and then you eat it in the morning when it's just room temperature. It's gonna be amazing either way. And if it is room temperature, you can always zap it in the microwave, get it a little warm again. You can add extra caramel sauce or glaze to each slice. I mean, it's so incredible. I can't even begin to tell you how delicious this recipe is and it is beyond easy. It's actually better than the one I had in Epcot. I'm not gonna kid you, it's better. Guys, check out PressureLowCooking.com for tons of recipes. I have a video just like this one for every single recipe on my YouTube channel and on the blog that you can find there. Um, and you know what? I've written not one, but four Instant Pot cookbooks. Look at this. Taste the rainbow. All different colors. I love it. We got blue, yellow, green, and orange. Each one has a different theme. My most recent one is super shortcut. It is five to 10 ingredients per recipe. Some recipes are just dump and go. Some recipes are three steps or less. Every recipe, beautiful step-by-step -step color photos and a final shot of each with a timing bar. You can't ask for more than that in a cookbook, can ya? Well, maybe if someone else cooked it for you, but these are easy recipes. Everything that I do is easy. Because you know what? I'm not a trained chef. I'm just amateur and I just like to cook. And my mission is to show you that if I can do it, anyone can, including you. Thank you so much, my friends. And I'm gonna leave you with this little poem. I like my little poems at the end here. The next time you wanna make a wonderful dessert to make your friends and family cavell, Google it, make some fabulous pretzel bread pudding topped with caramel. Enjoy, it really is delicious. Gotta get, gotta get some of the extra, the glaze in there. All right, get it away from me. I'm gonna eat the entire thing. Get it away. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.